a stock market analyst, discusses his own proprietary trading. A stock market analyst discusses his own proprietary trading. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis. Good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW, uh, 24 uh, traders, and our website is www.stochastic-macd.com. The title of the video is A Stock Market Analyst Discusses His Own Proprietary Trading. All right, let's get started. The financial instrument that uh, we are uh, analyzing today is uh, GMCR. The APIC is uh, Golf, Mike, Charlie, Romeo, Curry Green Mountain Incorporation, listed on the NASDAQ 100. Okay? Talking about uh, my own uh, proprietary trading uh, tool, the trading tool that we're going to discuss today is very, very simple. It's based on, on uh, okay, the market stable data that stated that. Uh, uh, a financial instrument in normal condition should go up in diagonal. Therefore, a vertical price move is uh, abnormal, is a distortion. So when we see a financial instrument that is going up vertical, there is a high chance that the price will retrace back to the opposite diagonal. I want traders to pay attention carefully because this is my own proprietary trading tool that we use on a higher time frame, especially monthly chart, quarterly chart, and yearly chart. Best time frame, yearly chart. We are looking for a valid trade setup. And even if you are a day trader or a swing trader or a position trader, you can apply this uh, proprietary trading tool. So when we know that a financial instrument is likely to go up as a day trader we will concentrate on bullish trade setup as a swing trader we'll do exactly the same thing as a position trader we'll do exactly the same thing it's good to know whether a financial instrument will go up the whole year so if a financial instrument is going to go up the whole year what's the point of trying to sell it it is bullish all right and if you know that the financial instrument has a a high chance to go down the whole year What's the point of trying to okay buy it? All right, you will give priority to bearish signal by using this proprietary trading tool. One is likely to identify the best bullish stocks or the bearish bearish stock. Okay, it makes sense. So pay attention carefully to what we're doing here. So. In normal condition, if a stock or a commodity or a currency pair is going up, it will go up in, ver in a diagonal move. So, you see, you see the line I'm drawing here? I'm going to draw a line here, okay? See this line? It's diagonal. It's not vertical, isn't it? Yeah? I'll color it now into orange, okay? Yeah. So, you can see that from 2005 up to 2010, uh, 13, the price, okay, was going up in normal direction. This is a diagonal progression. A stock that is going up in normal condition, you see you go up like this, gently, 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 okay, going like a plane that is taking off. It's not a helicopter that can go up in vertical. But when we see a financial instrument that is going up normally, as you see here, it's going up normally here, this is a normal progression, and suddenly, it started going up in vertical. You see here, right here, from 2013, it started going up in straight line. Boom, boom, up. It's no more gently, gently up. So, when we see a diagonal move, followed by a vertical move, we draw a line. So, you draw a line. I'm going to remove my uh, orange line. We draw a line to highlight. This is the first line that I'm drawing. We draw a line <coughs> to highlight the normal progression. So the, the red line represents the normal progression. Then I'm going to color the vertical progression into pink. So on this uh, yearly chart for this stock, Curry Green uh, uh, Mountain Incorporation, Epic uh, GMCR on the DAX 100, you see that uh, we have a normal progression followed by abnormal progression. All right? When we see that, we highlight that. 
Then you see this distance here, you project it to this side here, to the beginning of the move. So this is forming now, you see the blue line here. So you put it here, okay? And then you will draw, then you have this line here. So you have, okay, normal progression, vertical line, and then you project the vertical line at the beginning of the price move, which is this blue line here. So now I will change the color of my blue line, which is the projection of uh, our vertical move into, okay, orange here, you see? After that, you will also draw a line here to form a, a kind of a rectangle, okay? A rectangle or parallel piped, uh here. So we have this shape here, you see here? So we have a kind of uh, rectangle here. And then you will draw a line through, a diagonal line from this angle here. This is what we call uh, the diagonal, okay? So you draw this one line to connect these two points here. It's a bit of a market geometry. Uh, you join this point and this point. So you draw a line through it. That's my blue line here. So I'll color it now into green, okay? But what we call the opposite diagonal, the normal diagonal is between this green line, this green point, and this green point. That's the diagonal of our, one of the diagonals of our rectangle. You see, we have a rectangle here. Our normal diagonal is this from here to this point here. So from here, going down this way, are you with me if you've done a bit of geometry? That's what I like to call the opposite diagonal. So in fact, if I do it in two lines, if I draw another line carefully here, which is directly opposite to our normal diagonal, so our normal diagonal is the green line from this point to this point here. So the opposite diagonal is the line that I'm going to color now, okay, into turquoise. Okay, you see it? Okay, it's not very clear. Uh, I will use again red, okay? So from here, you see this is the opposite diagonal. The normal diagonal from here, green line to this point. The extension of that line from this point onward, that's what we call the opposite diagonal. What we have noticed, talking about my own proprietary trading tool, when a financial instrument goes up in a, a normal progression, followed by a vertical progression, which is abnormal progression, there is a high chance that the stock will come back down to retest the opposite diagonal. This is what's happening here for this stock, GMCR, on the NASDAQ 100. So, normal progression, vertical move, retracement to the opposite diagonal. When a price or a financial instrument is retesting the opposite diagonal after a diagonal move followed by a vertical move, if the financial instrument returns back to retest the opposite diagonal, that is very often, okay, an oversold condition. The opposite is also true in a downtrend when a stock goes down in a normal diagonal move followed by a vertical move down. The prior will rally back up to retest the opposite diagonal. But there are more to this. Sometimes, if the stock, like this one here, is very, very bullish, it will not touch the opposite diagonal. It will stop here. You will draw another line. You see this point here? You draw a line that is horizontal. Just a horizontal line. This, this angle here, you draw a line that is horizontal. Sometimes, the prime may not touch the opposite diagonal, but will stop at this horizontal line here. Very often, this kind of trading setup are powerful. So here we are, we have a normal progression followed by vertical move. The stock is pulling back in a zone of the opposite diagonal. This is a bullish trade setup. It's not yet, my friend, a trading signal. We will, for a trader, a position trader, a day trader, a swing trader, one will now use a top-down trading method. So for a day trader, we see like this, the price at a key level. We can switch to the 10 minute time frame and look for, okay, signal and entry. We can connect directly yearly chart and 10 minute chart and use the 10 minute chart for the signal and the entry at the same time. For a swing trader, we can do more, or position trader, we can use yearly chart, monthly chart, daily chart. 
multiple times from training method to internet training. For an investor, we see, we use a technical tool or a proprietary training tool like this. We see that it's an oversold zone. We go to Google Finance. We assess the financials, okay? We perform at least Google Finance as a test. We check the global market environment. We check, uh, okay, the NAX 100. Are we in a bullish season? Are we in a bearish season? If we are in a, at the end of a, a bearish season, it's also good for a bullish trade or a bullish investment. Or if we are in a bullish season itself, it's also good for bullish investment. And from there, we do our verification and we take it from there. It makes sense? So by using uh, this, uh, my proprietary trading tool, one is able uh, to identify the best oversold uh, financial instrument or the best overbought uh, financial instrument. So price goes down in a normal direction and followed by a vertical move down, the price has a high chance to rally back up to retest the opposite diagonal. But we need to pay attention to the horizontal line from this angle here. So we see now this stock is now at a key level. We have a normal progression followed by a vertical move. Now we see a retracement into the zone of the opposite diagonal. The two levels that we are watching, the horizontal line and the opposite diagonal itself. It doesn't mean that the stock will definitely change direction there. We must now assess the risk, check Google Finance, check the fundamentals, okay? And uh, for technical trader, we'll use a top-down trading method without ignoring the economy news. All right, it makes sense. It is also powerful. I will be recording more video, and when I will be talking more about uh, my this uh, particular okay proprietary trading tool based on the market uh, uh, geometry, it makes sense. It is also powerful. So we can apply the same strategy we see now on the yearly chart. Sometimes you will see on the monthly chart. Okay, for a trader, uh, we can use a top-down trading method, monthly chart, daily charts, okay, hourly chart. We can do that, okay? All right? Monthly chart for the setup, daily chart for the signal, hourly chart for the entry. We can see the same thing sometimes, but very often I don't like the weekly chart for this method, but sometimes you'll see also on the weekly chart, on any time frame, even sometime after the economy news are released for traders that are trading for us, you may see it also that after the economy news, before the economy news, you will see that the, the price will be going normally, in normal progression. Then as the news is released, because the market will become a little bit volatile, the price will run fast in vertical. We can apply the same method, so we can draw again our triangle, our uh, rectangle again, and then draw the diagonal to connect the two points, paying attention to the levels that I have already mentioned. Okay, so the opposite diagonal is starting from here, going down, and we will not ignore okay, the horizontal line here. These are key levels that we will watch. This is just to detect a trading setup or investment scenario for stock that are likely to go up the whole year or go down the whole year. All right, for this stock, uh, GMCR, Curry Green Mountain, listed on the DAX 100, as you are seeing now on the yearly chart, it will make perfect sense for an investor to go now to Google Finance to do the fundamental analysis, check the economy news, check the management, and see what's happening. Check the global economy, what's happening now, okay, right now. Our expectation that is that, uh, okay, uh, the Dow Jones will pull back, okay. You remember the, 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 the video? I recorded some video recently. If you check uh, Dow Jones now, I'll bring it out quickly. Our expectation is that the... Uh, the Dow Jones will pull back slowly but gently to the level of 15551, okay? All right? If you go to the weekly chart, you see clearly, okay? And then from there, we go up again. But from uh, next year, July, there's a high chance that we may see a bearish season. So looking at the stock that we are looking at, uh, Keurig, uh, okay, Great Mountain, okay, it's not the best time for investment as such, but one can use it for medium-term investment purposes. It makes sense? It is also uh, powerful, okay? This is the end of this video about uh, a stock market analyst discusses his own proprietary trading tool. It consists of uh, uh, highlighting the normal progression and also highlighting the abnormal progression, which is the vertical move. One will now draw a, a, a rectangle and uh, draw the, 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 the diagonal through the rectangles. While we pay attention to the opposite diagonal and the horizontal line to identify the best bullish and bearish uh, trade setup. 
if one identifies a bullish or bearish trade setup, one will now apply a top-down trading method. If one is an investor, as we see now on the yearly chart, one will check the global market environment, perform a fundamental analysis, and then time the market using the market timing tools. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, okay, please give us the thumbs down. If you love it, okay, feel free to share it on Google+, Plus, okay, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you love our videos, all right, feel free to stay tuned and uh, subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be uh, very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders, okay, talking about, uh, okay, a stock market analyst discusses his own proprietary trading tool. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be very happy. Thank you. Speak to you soon.